I was raised in a house with 5,000 books. My father was a publisher. My mother's father was a publisher. It was like the family religion. I mean, on the weekends, we worshiped at the library. I became a carpenter because I wanted to do something more tangible. And eventually, I got bored, and I wanted to do something with my mind. So I became a writer and an editor, and I've written comedy all my life. What I do now, I use the titles on the books to write three-dimensional haikus. It could describe a person, it could make a joke. I work in both the tangible and the symbolic realms. I look at books like Lumber. If I like the fabric, the font, the color, the condition. Then I read the words. And if the words seem useful, I collect the book. And I keep about 5,000 of them categorized by how I think I might use them. So for example, I have a section of people's names. I have states, I have countries, I have kinds of geography. But then I have my subjects like, say, baseball. I have a section on golf next to that, and that includes self-help books. And then I have about a thousand that are just bits of speech, attitudes, points of view, that I can use to fill in a composition. When I'm composing a piece, the first thing that I do is I collect the books that I think might be useful. Is that enough? Here's a popular subject, but what's better about it is that it actually looks like cocoa underneath. The dust jackets, I can't use them. They don't make good furniture. So then I'm gonna sort the books in terms of which ones have the type running this way and which have the type running this way, because if they can't read the words, they're not gonna laugh at the joke. So now I've got a straight line. What I'd look for next is maybe a punch line or something that just sets that off. So light and dark, thick and thin. This would look nice, but it's too long, so I can't use that. Maybe this. And it wouldn't even be bad to get that in there. I don't know if it's gonna fit, but I like that because the type runs the same way and green and brown make me happy. To hang my work, you just put two screws in the wall, and on the back, I hide metal clips. The frame inside is made entirely of recycled wood, so it's as strong as any other shelf. Once you hang it, you can put anything you want on top. Books are a terrific icon, but this specific copy is not rare. On the back of every piece I make, it says, my disclaimer, no books that could change the course of world events were harmed in the production of this artwork. Oh, those are nice. Basically, it's like taxidermy. I have to gut them, and then I stuff the books with recycled wood. This is a piece I've been thinking about for years. It took me six months to figure out how to make it because I really wanted to have a coat rack as part of a shelf in which the knives are set into a butcher block. And this is all gonna be about meat, all the titles in this piece. And it took me a long time to find the books once I had the idea, but I wanted to be able to really have you be able to hang a coat 
from a rack made out of knives. And so I had to build the butcher block around the knives. But the thing is, it's not conceptual art. I want this to be strong enough that you could really hang a coat from there 